Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll see type 2 types of numericals. In the type 2 types of numerical, the statement is like this. Determine the fourth force completely if the resultant of the system is 25 Newton as shown in figure. So instead of finding the resultant, they will give you the value of resultant and ask you to one unknown force. So in this given statement, we can see this is the force 1, this is the force 2 and this is the force 3. Generally, resultant is represented by capital R and its value and theta is given. Its value is 25 Newton, theta is equal to 60 Newton. So, one force is unknown, fourth force. So, we will try to find it. The logic behind this type of numerical is to, first, as the resultant is given, we should find summation of fx. We know that summation of fx is equal to r cos theta, where r is the resultant, theta is the angle made by the resultant with the horizontal. And summation of fy is equal to r sin theta magnitude of the resultant and angle made by the resultant with the horizontal so we should use this logic to calculate the unknown force so we'll see how to solve this problem so first we'll find out the angle of all the forces with horizontal axis so for that we'll draw all the forces here so first force is 70 newton second is 50 newton now this is the resultant r is equal to 25 newton and 20 newton okay so in the summation fx or summation fy calculation you don't take this r as a component okay we'll consider it on the either right side or the left side then we'll find out the angle now 50 newton angle is given with the vertical its value is 20 degree here so convert it with the horizontal so it is 90 minus 20 70 degree all other angles are given with respect to x axis 45 degree 60 degree now we show the fourth force in any one quadrant either in third second first or fourth so in this case we have shown it in the third quadrant you can try it by showing it in the second quadrant first quadrant or the fourth quadrant so f is the magnitude and theta is the angle made with the horizontal now we'll solve this numerical so third step in this is find summation of horizontal component that is summation of fx so for that we will follow this graph so for outward forces the first quadrant x positive y positive in the th second quadrant x minus y positive in the third quadrant x minus y minus and in the last quadrant x plus y minus if the force is inward then in the first quadrant x is minus y is minus in the second quadrant x is plus y is minus in the third quadrant x plus and y plus and in the last quadrant x minus y plus so we'll use this side to write the equation of summation of fx so we'll start with the 70 newton force the magnitude of this force is 70 and angle is 45 degree now all the angles are with the x axis so we can write fx is equal to f cos theta and fy is equal to f sin theta only sine is required which we can take it from this chart now all the forces are outward so we can use first chart only now 70 cos 45 it lie in the first quadrant so its x component will be positive so it is 70 cos 45 then 50 angle with the horizontal so by directly we can write 50 cos 70 it is in the second quadrant so x is minus minus 50 cos 70 next one f f lie in the third quadrant so its x component will be minus so it is minus f cos theta will not consider 20 newton because it is a vertical force its horizontal component should be zero now resultant will not consider in this equation directly we can write summation of fx is equal to r cos theta so this resultant lie in the fourth quadrant so its x component should be positive so instead of fx we can write 25 magnitude into cos 60 and its value is positive now we'll put this value of 25 cos 60 here so 25 cos 60 is equal to 70 cos 45 minus 50 cos 70 minus f cos theta now rewrite this equation so here we get 12.5 is equal to 32.396 minus f cos theta this 32.396 goes to left hand side so the value get 19.896 is equal to f cos theta so we can consider this as equation number one now we'll find the fourth step in this solution that is summation of fy summation of all vertical components so summation of fy is equal to we'll use this chart again so we'll write the equation for summation of fy it is equal to 70 sine 45 okay 70 is the magnitude 
theta is 45 degree now this lie in the first quadrant so y is positive then next force is 50 angle is 70 so 50 sin theta so 50 sin 70 it is in the second quadrant so y is positive the next one is f f lie in the third quadrant so it is minus f sin theta minus f sin theta next one 20 newton it is a vertical force no need of resolution directly we can write with the help of sine. so it pointed in the downward direction so it is minus 20 then summation of fy is equal to r cos theta that is the vertical component of the resultant the magnitude is 25 and angle is 60 now this force lie in the fourth quadrant so its y component should be minus so that's why it is minus 25 sine 60 now we will put this value here in this equation so it is minus 25 sine 60 is equal to 70 sine 45 plus 50 sine 70 minus f sine theta minus 20 now we'll find out the answer find the answer for every term by putting in a calculator so here we get minus 21.65 is equal to 76.482 minus f sine theta this is the answer of this term right so we'll get the value of f sine theta is equal to 101.132 we'll mark this as equation number two as we have got equation number one and equation number two now we'll do one more thing we will find out the theta for that we will divide equation two by one why will divide equation two by one because in equation two as we can see it is a sine theta and in equation one it is a f cos theta so we required a theta angle that's why we'll find out the tan theta and tan theta equation is sine theta divided by cos theta that's why divide equation 2 by equation 1 so after dividing it we will get this equation so in this equation f is common here so it get cancelled and sine theta divided by cos theta it becomes tan theta so 5.083 is equal to tan theta to calculate the theta we'll take the inverse of tan so for that theta is equal to tan inverse of 5.083 so in this way get that will get the value of theta is equal to 78.870 after calculating the theta we should find the magnitude of the force f for that you can put the value of theta in either equation 1 or equation 2 we'll put the value in equation number 1 so this is the equation 1 we'll put the value of theta here so instead of theta we can put 78.87 and f will be equal to 19.896 divided by cos theta so the value of f is 103.0868 newton so in this way we have calculated the value of theta we have calculated the value of force f the positive sign of force indicate that assume location of the force f in the third quadrant is right so in this way you can calculate the unknown force if the resultant is given so in this way we can find out the unknown force if the resultant is given the only difference is that here we write summation of fx is equal to r cos theta and summation of fy is equal to r sin theta please like this video subscribe to our channel thank you thank you very much